My name is Jenna Barnard and my occupation is that I manage a portfolio of bond investments. My job uh, basically entails lending money to different companies and also different countries and governments. Um, in exchange for lending money they give me a stream of interest and I pay that interest income out to my investors. I like trying to find the flaws in data. You know, backward looking data only gets you so far. Um, so I like stress testing the data, um, trying to you know, find breaks where, where the environment might change, you know, and that's what I'm interested in. I think extrapolating data from the past, particularly in financial markets, can only get you so far and actually you need to kind of predict some of the unpredictable events. Um, and that's where it gets interesting. Just being around people who encourage you and are respectful of you gives you confidence. I mean, if people aren't putting you down and you know, you're in a, a healthy environment, you're going to have confidence. That's a natural state. To not have confidence means there's something wrong in the environment that you're in. So I think my confidence comes from being in a healthy environment with people I enjoy working with. When I was about 14, I was at a school where, which really didn't suit me um, and I wasn't flourishing and actually my behaviour started to deteriorate. So at 14, I actually made the decision to change school, leave my friendship group and move to a different school and actually travel quite far to go to that school. And I think for me, that was probably the inflection point where I started to achieve what I, was, I had the potential to achieve. It was a huge risk because it wasn't just the institution you were leaving, but as I said, the friendship group and the local people that I'd grown up with, but it was a risk which worked brilliantly for me and actually moving to an alternative school, I flourished. My role model would be my mother and my grandmother, really, just for work ethic, I think, and positivity. Uh, they're the two people that I looked up to as I grew up. So the best advice I was ever given was from my gran, who told me not to not do something because you're scared of it i.e. don't let fear hold you back. Um, I thought that, that was good advice. There are lots of reasons not to do something, but fear isn't one of them. Persistence and curiosity, you know, those two attributes will get you so far. And attaching yourself to, to decent people who are gonna help nurture any talent that you have. So yeah, just keep going really.